Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to discuss about pleomorphic adenoma of lacrimal gland. Pleomorphic adenoma is the most common lacrimal neoplasm. It is derived from epithelial and mesenchymal tissue, hence it is known as benign mixed cell tumor. This picture shows histopathology of pleomorphic adenoma of lacrimal gland showing epithelial and mesenchymal tissues. It mostly arises from the orbital lobe, however, it can arise from the palpable lobe of lacrimal gland also. It usually affects people in their middle age. It has a slightly higher incidence in males and the risk of malignant transformation of pleomorphic adenoma is 10 to 20 percent in 20 years. Coming to the clinical features of pleomorphic adenoma of lacrimal gland, patients usually present with gradual painless proptosis to the infranasal quadrant as you can see in this picture. There can be upper lid swelling, diplopia and palpable mass. However, Orbital lobe tumors may not be palpable. Globe indentation can lead to choroidal folds plus or minus hypermetropic shift. Coming to the investigations done for a case of pleomorphic adenoma of lacrimal gland, we can do ultrasonography which will show round lobulated lesion which has typically medium or high reflectivity. CT or MRI can be done. This picture shows CT scan of a case of pleomorphic adenoma. It will show expansion of lacrimal fossa indentation of globe, well circumscribed and slightly nodular tumor. There can be calcification in around 3% of cases of pleomorphic adenoma of lacrimal gland. Coming to the treatment of pleomorphic adenoma, we have to do surgical removal of whole tumor with intact pseudo capsule without prior biopsy. This is because if we do biopsy, there is risk of CD. The approach is by anterior orbitotomy in case of palpable lobe tumors or lateral orbitotomy for orbital lobe tumors. This picture shows lateral orbitotomy done for a case of orbital lobe pleomorphic adenoma. Following the procedure, there is risk of subsequent keratoconjunctivitis cica. The prognosis is excellent with complete excision but needs prolonged follow-up for malignant transformation even if complete clearance is done. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments section. For more such videos, please check out my playlists. Thank you.